If we combine several emitters, like speakers, into a line, we can make a phased array. When identical signal is fed to each element, a directional beam is formed through constructive and destructive interference. By feeding each element with a signal of identical frequency but with a relative phase difference, we can steer the beam. For this project, I made a 12 speaker array to experiment with acoustic beam forming and beam steering. I built my array out of wood. I made it into two sections of six speakers. The total length is about two meters. It is an L-shaped structure with holes for the speakers and room on the back for the electronics. The speakers are glued with hot glue, which gives some mechanical isolation. I also made a large protractor to be able to measure the angle at which each measurement is performed. A string will be tied to the center screw to read the angle. The wire from the speakers are twisted to limit the amount of interference. Three amplifiers are soldered on the back of each half. They drive the six speakers. They are powered with three DC back converters that were adjusted to output exactly 5 volts. A laptop power brick is used. To feed a phase signal to each channel, I designed a signal generator board in KiCad. It was manufactured by JLCPCB. I hand soldered it. The main chip is an Arduino Nano microcontroller and some FM62429 digital potentiometers. The physical potentiometer allows us to tune the signal to get an identical amplitude in each channel despite the component variations. To test my array, I did three different tests. Feeding each element with an identical signal, this is a control experiment. Feeding each element with a relative phase difference, this is a beam steering experiment and feeding each element with the same phase, but a non-constant amplitude low. I measured the relative pattern using my DIY protractor, a long enough rope to be in the far field, and my Android phone for the level measurements. This is the result for the first experiment compared to the expected pattern. The general shape matches, which shows the beamforming effect. The differences are probably due to the environment and the ambient noise. On the beam steering experiment, the signal was generated to aim the beam at 30 degrees. This is pretty clear on my measurements. Hence, my array is capable of beam steering an acoustic wave. For the third experiment, we should have seen the same result as the first one, but with reduced side lobes relative to the main lobe thanks to the amplitude moderation. However, the measurements data do not show this effect. This is probably explained by the degraded signal-to-noise ratio in the measurements. My array really shows the acoustic beamforming and steering effects. Of course, this is an experiment, not a practical application. The article on my website, links in the description, goes into a lot more detail on the theory and calculations. All files are on my GitHub, Python scripts, design files, etc.